What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's doing well today. Today, I'll be showing y'all a tutorial on the mid ball taper with a chin strap combination on an Edgar kind of style haircut. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, comment, check me out, let me know what you think. But without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is comb your hair down and start making your ball guideline, like just adjacent with the ear. Kind of try to make that C, C cup kind of shape with the tip of the trimmers, whatever trimmers you decide you want to use for this particular haircut. We're going to start off making our ball guideline. And, uh, you want to kind of get that as, as clean as you possibly could get it. Um, it makes the transition for the taper to be a little bit better later on in the haircut. And uh, it'll prevent you from having to like rework yourself. Like I said, we're going to do the, 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 the initial ball guideline. So we're going to work our way around the head. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on that uh, left front side in the back. So you kind of want to use like the corner of your clippers and just, you know, kind of make that C curvature, that C kind of shape balled out, you know what I'm saying? And, and making sure that you get it as clean as possible, you know, for that, that initial foundation for your haircut. You know, like, there's some barbers that think that that don't matter or, you know, it don't have to be a clean C-shape, per se. You know what I'm saying? And it might it might be a, a way that they cut hair to where it works for them, to where they don't have to use it. It's just my personal preference. I like to get it as clean as possible because I like everything to be adjacent, lined up clean Chris if you know what I mean so you kind of want to keep going over that area you know just kind of get it as bald as you possibly can you know uh without leaving no stubble sometimes you got to keep running those clippers over apply a little pressure per se um you always want to do whatever it is you have to do to get that that overall result that you're looking for Using that comb, combing the hair down. Uh, you know, it's key key points to haircutting, you know. Your tools are everything. And uh as as we work as we work our trimmers, you know, we wanna wanna like I said, you wanna always keep it as clean as possible. So even like the little tiny stubble that you might see, um, I'm I'ma cut all that. I pretty much did the same thing to the other side, so it'll probably be a waste of time if I showed y'all the other side. So we just gonna go ahead and go straight to the lineup. So like first things first, <clears throat> when you doing like a lineup on like an Edgar kind of style haircut, uh, one or two things gonna happen. You either gonna do a Chris Chris lineup or you're not gonna do a lineup at all. This right here is what I'm using this hole. So this person in particular, they've decided that they're gonna do the actual lineup. Most people, when they get this hairstyle, or some people, should I say, when they get this particular hairstyle, haircut, if you will, they typically just line up the tip parts of the bangs. The parts right here where you can see me combing, they'll line that up. It's the tips of it. And then there's people like this client that actually want a prestige Chris line. So what I'm doing now is using the hair dryer to blow and dry the hole that I just sprayed in his hair. Because one thing about this hairstyle as well, you gotta always constantly comb that hair because that hair is, for the most part, gonna do what you want. Every time, it don't matter who hair it is. If they have this style, it's gonna do what you want every time. And 
Every time I do a lineup, I like to start in the center. And on this particular haircut, I like to start real, real low. Just so I can kind of, you know, play with, you know, walking the lineup up, if you will. <clears throat> I don't want to start too high. Because it's like, if you start too high, you don't really give yourself wiggle room to really work with, to kind of really work the line up out. So that's why, I like me personally, I like to start a little lower and then kind of like work my way up, if you know what I mean. Um, and just little by little, you want to keep going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher until you actually get to the natural hairline and you actually know the natural hairline itself. You don't want to eyeball and freehand or assume or guess where the hairline is at because that can easily turn into you pushing a client's hairline back, making their hairline recede. Or just digging too deep in into the top portion of their hairline. And that's what you don't want. You want to keep people coming back. You don't want to run people off, but that's definitely going to run people off. Um, when you're doing a lineup on the Edgar, you know, that it, it's, it, it requires patience, man. Like, even like now, like, as I, as I do the lineup and do the, the curvature and, and, and make it as straight as possible, it's giving me problems. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta keep working it out. Keep working it out. I'm not gonna show y'all what I did on this side because there's no point. It's the same thing. Line up complete. So on this part, this is the back neck lineup. That's my whole spray. Right behind the ear, you gotta comb that hair down just like we did the front hairline. Give it a few seconds to dry up. Calm it down a little bit more and dive right into it. Just follow that same line and just pull towards you. Pull it out, pull it away. Make sure you fold that ear down so you don't snip your client's ear, cut your ear, whatever the case. Get it out your way. Help you get that line as straight as possible. And when you're going around the ears like this, make sure you're using the corner of your blades. Don't use the entire blade. You'll put a patch in your client's head. And that's going to be a sad day, you heard me? So make sure you don't do that. That's the quickest way to run people off, putting patches in their head. You kind of want to just keep working that corner of that blade until you get it exactly the shape, how you want it to look, kind of how you want the hair to fall behind the ear. And until you get comfortable, sometimes you got to take your time, and that's okay. Quality over everything else. And clients appreciate you being patient and taking your time and going that extra mile, man. Cause at the end of the day in this profession, the detail matter. Details always matter. And it's the smallest details that matter the most, contrary to your belief. So I'm just kind of going over that line one more time around the ears just to make sure I clip any straggling hairs or any hairs that I may have missed. Sometimes you gotta be repetitive. I always comb that hair down because that hair is stubborn. It does what it wants. I can't stress that enough either. All right, we're about to jump right into the back table. You're going to open up your adjustable clippers all the way open and go up about a half inch. Whatever adjustable clippers you use, just go up about a half inch and kind of scoop out. 
comb the hair down, scoop out as you go. Make sure you give it real clean sectioning. It'll help better with the transition of the table. It'll be a lot smoother too. And continue to keep scooping out in that C cup kind of rhythm. Then you want to close your adjustables about halfway and go up about halfway. And continue to keep on scooping out. Then you want to almost open all your way your adjustables. All the way open almost, but not really. But scoop kind of just under that initial guideline. Scoop out. And always remember using the, 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 the corner of the clippers. Scoop out, scoop out, scoop out. It's important that you continue that consistent scooping method. It makes the transition way cleaner and that way you're not creating any more lines. And sometimes you got to go over the same areas more than one time or multiple times. Then you want to close your lever all the way and scoop out to that bottom line. Using the corner of your clipper still to scoop out that bottom line. Scoop out. Continue to keep scooping out. Next, you want to grab your two guard, your number two, for your adjustables, and close the lever all the way, and you want to scoop up about an inch above that initial guideline. With that second guideline, you always want to give yourself a little bit more room to work with, because the way the transition of the fade falls, it's always more ideal to give yourself more room on the second guideline. Because it's supposed to be a transition. It's not really a transition if it's the same distance away from each other, if you know what I mean. So when you're scooping that, that, that two out, make sure you're doing the C-cut motion. Make sure you do a great thorough job. Make sure you're hitting all the hairs in that section. In that area, you don't want to have uneven hair. Because if you have uneven hair, you're just basically reworking yourself. Because you're going to have to go back and trim it in some way, form, or fashion. Then, next, you want to grab... I say grab your one guard. And when you put your one guard on, you want to close the one guard halfway and scoop up about halfway scoop out scoop up and out scoop up and out that c cut motion c cut stroke however you want to word it is all the same thing especially when you practice in the actual motion it's just all depend on the words you choose to use but yeah you want to you want to go up halfway and scoop out Continue to keep scooping out. Make sure you do thorough scoops. Then you wanna you wanna you wanna close the clippers all the way and just basically use the corner of the clippers. Make sure you're working that, that corner because if you flat the blade on the back of his head, it might cut out too much, huh? and you don't want that. 
So then you want to open the clippers almost all the way and kind of scoop out just below that two guideline that you made with that two guard. Scoop out. See cut motion. Scoop out. Always using the corner of your clippers. Never forget that. That is so important. Corner of the clippers. Always use the corners. So now you want to close that blade back again. All the way. And hit that bottom line. On that second guy line transition. Just to kind of like scoop out that last little faint line you're seeing. It's not going to get it all the way out, but it's going to close it. It's going to lighten it up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make the taper a little bit easier. Next, you want to just remove the guard completely. Use the corner of the blades and open up the lever all the way. And attack that bottom line that you made. Because you want to get that line as faint as possible if you can help it. Because like I always see, and like I've constantly stressed throughout this entire video, it's the small details that matter. Patience is key when it comes to fading tapering, whatever you want to call it. It's going to take some time, especially when you're trying to turn nothing into something. Now, the next thing you want to do is debulk. So grab your debulking cone Open up your lever all the way, pull the comb out towards you, and scoop across. Scoop across. That way you're not digging too much into his bolt because remember, we're kind of doing an Edgar haircut. And with the Edgar haircut, it's a particular haircut shape that's desired when you're rocking this style. So we're gonna try our best to keep that same shape at the same time, properly debulking and properly blending out your client's hair. You wanna get it as close as possible without cutting too much off. And at the same time, getting rid of any lines you might see along the way. And the rules still apply. Keep combing that hair down so you can kind of see where that hair falls at. That's important because you might have not cut hair that you thought you cut. Or you may have cut hair that you don't think you cut. That's why you got to comb it. If it fell off, you cut it. If it stood up, you didn't cut it. But you kind of want to just keep that consistent range of motion when you're cutting and shaping and leaning the comb parallel to the client's head because you're still trying to maintain that shape which is most important you want to be nicely blended but you also don't want to cut too much of the bulk off You got to already see the picture in your head before you even start cutting. That's the real key. But swipe, comb down. Swipe, comb down. Swipe, comb down. Swipe, comb down. And you keep on doing it until you, you see that look that you're searching for. You keep doing it until you see that shape that you're searching for, like. Especially if, if you see it in the mirror, the mirror is your best friend when you're a barber. All your problems and tribulations are going to be exposed in the mirror. Always trust and believe that.
If you did somebody bad, the mirror will expose it. But with this part of the haircut, you got to be super patient. You have clients that move their head, so you got to be aware of that too as well. You got to be prepared for people to move their head, especially if you know they're going to move. Or you can anticipate them moving. All right, so when starting on that side table, you want to open up your adjustables all the way and go up about a half inch using that C-cup stroke method that we discussed throughout the haircut. Scoop out, scoop out. Make sure you do it as thorough as possible, as clean as a job as you possibly can, because like we always talked about, that taper transition is so important. It'll save you a lot more time. Then we want to close the lever halfway and then go up about halfway in that region, scooping out with the C-cup. Scoop. 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 And always combing the hair down. Always. Then you want to almost open up your adjustables all the way. Not all the way, but almost. And scoop out just below that region before you hit the top of that first guideline. C-cut region. Then you want to close that adjustable and knock out that faint line at the bottom of that area or that region with the corner of the clippers, of course. And just continue to keep scooping out. Continue to keep scooping out. Until you get that desired look that you're looking for. Sometimes you got to go over that same area more than one time. But whatever it takes to get that look that you, 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 you seeking. That look you're trying to accomplish. It's the details that matter. Then next up. What you want to do is, you want to go ahead and grab your two guard. And you're going to go up about an inch in that region, right above the area we just faded, but it's parallel to the top of the ear. And, and as you can see, I'm doing like that C cup kind of method, scooping, if you will, have you want to word it. Comb that hair down, of course. Can't forget the old faithful combing the hair down. And right here, I can see, like, the way his hair grow on this side. I just went with the grain down. You don't always do this, but I do it sometimes depending on how the client's hair grow. Not really required, but it's just one of those things I just like to do every now and again. Not all the time, but every now and again. Then you want to grab your... Uh, you want to get your one guard. Once you get your one guard, you want to close that lever about halfway and scoop up about halfway in that region area. You just applied that two two. The two guard area. You want to go up about halfway with that one, right in that area, and scoop out as well. C cup. You already know. Same deal. Let's keep doing the same methods, the same technique, over and over. Comb that hair out. You know the deal. Then you want to open it almost all the way open and scoop out just under the top of where that tool was created. Make sure you're using the corner of those clippers like we always talk about. The corner of the clippers are going to save your life. It's a safe way to cut. It gives you the opportunity to know what you're working with as well. Then you want to close the lever all the way. Use the corner of the clippers to blend out the bottom of that two. 
and we initially established. Keep on scooping out with the corners, combing that hair down, seeing where it falls. Take that guard off. Use the first three teeth of the corner of the clippers and knock out that faint line. Well, at least try to knock it out as, as much as you can. Depending on the hair texture, it'll work. Sometimes, and sometimes it don't work sometimes. And if it doesn't, you know, all the way open, you just go halfway and do the same method with the corner of the clippers. And just keep working out that line. Go halfway and stay stroking with the corner of those clippers. Do whatever, keep closing it more and more and more until you get that line out, get that desired look. Cause you know, overall, the bottom line is when it's all said and done, it's the details that matter. Nothing else matters. So now, I'm gonna debulk a little bit with my with my fading comb, just a little bit. See see what it'll let me do. Just kind of using the tip of the clippers to kind of snub at it. Going vertical because I don't want to cut too much. I'm going vertical. Don't want to cut too much using the corner of the blades. But you see it's more bulk there, so I'm going to go up and comb sizes. Got to get our debulking comb, the old infamous. When you catch that, that hair, pull the hair towards you, scoop out, then swipe. Scoop out, swipe. Continue to keep doing that. Calm that hair down. Scoop out. Swipe. You see how it's coming out? Swipe. Calm it down. I look a little cleaner than I've done it. Continue to keep calming down. And, and the more you see fit to cut, you scoop a little bit more out. You see fit to cut lease, scoop lease out. Be patient and work through the table, man. It might take you a while to get those desired results. But all in all, no matter what, you always want to give a quality cut. I pretty much did the same thing on the other side. So it ain't no point in showing y'all the other side. So we're just going to go into fading in the beard with your table. Alright, so first things first, you want to open up your level all the way open and go up about a half an inch on the top of that beard, midway through your ears, kind of do that scoop out method. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you throw as possible. Then you want to close your adjustables about halfway. Go, go up about halfway in that region and scoop up. Still consistently using that scoop and see cup. Come on the hair down, of course. At this point, y'all know the vibes. Continue to keep on scooping. Then you want to adjust your, 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 your blade almost open. And you kind of want to scoop out just at the bottom of halfway in that region. You kind of doing the same thing you did on the table. Then you want to close that blade all the way. Use the tip of your clippers. Always use the tip of the blades and scoop out that top faint line as much as you possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was another thing too that I really appreciate. You were saying that 
you know, be a small transition. Keep, continue That's to keep coming in. That's why he's being really like take all the time on him like that because he's not really who he go to. The method is the exact like, same. Treat everybody the same, bro. Then what you want to do get is get, to, uh, no, hell no. get your number two guard. You know what I'm Pick your number two guard up. Correct. Put on your adjustables. And that's different if it was, you know what I'm Close your adjustables all the way. And that was my, my main thing. When him, Scoop out by the like inch. Like that, below that region. Uh, uh, Remember, you always want to go a little, a little higher, a little lower in that second guy. You was, you was pissed off with me. That's probably why you said. So you then you want to grab your one. Like, nah, bro. Just, you know, I was just trying to get injured. Get your one guard. You want to put that on your clippers and close it halfway. Same deal. All we doing is repeating the same steps. Halfway. In that same region, you just scoop up. Scoop up, scoop out. Scoop up, scoop out. Scoop up, scoop out, scoop up, scoop out. Then you want to open the clippers almost all the way over and scoop out just below that halfway area. Almost all the way. Scoop up, scoop out, scoop up, scoop out. Same thing. Very exact same. Then you want to close it all the way. Use the tip of the clippers to scrape at that top line and get that as faint as you possibly can. Y'all know the drill. Bro. Continue to keep scooping up. Always use the phone and the clippers though. Reputation is key. Then take that one guard off. Open that blade all the way open. Use the first two, three teeth on the adjustables and flick at that line, that top line, and make it as straight as possible. And like we previously discussed, open all the way. Using the corners ain't hitting that line, go halfway. If halfway all the way, ain't, ain't using the corners ain't hitting that line, go all the way close. And you keep going all the way close until you get the end result. You got to go on that block and talk about my name. So why the fuck would I work And you want to grab your trimmers. Make sure you comb all that hair down. And then we're going to go right into the beard line. As a kid, because you don't really care about it. Start off stretching that skin on the top of that beard line and just scooping up right on the top of that line. Pull that skin. Create and scope that shape that you would like that beard to fall. And keep pushing that hair up off that line. Depending on how high or low that climb. Yeah, and go over it again just to make sure it's an even more crispy line. I just don't speak down on other barbers. And don't forget the back of the beard line up either. That's important as well too. You don't want to be that barber that forget that part. It makes the haircut look scratchy if the back of the beard is all not lined up. You already lined up in front of the beard. Don't be that guy, y'all. Be precise. Be thorough. Be honest. Take your time. Don't rush. Timing is going to come. People will forget that you took fell on the haircut. They're not going to forget that. Same thing with the under chin. You want to, you know, discuss with that client the desired length or where you want that line to fall. 
As y'all discussed that, you know, try to maintain a straight line up underneath the chin as crisp as possible. I mean, you want to make the person feel like they care, man. Feel like you care as a pro pro professional. That's what I'm saying. Like, bring the And it's not just a haircut for you. Always call me a hero. That would never ever stop. Then we're going to jump right into the lineup on the mustache. You know you can't forget the mustache line up. I like to start in the center, on the bottom of the line, then go to the left, then the right, or the right, then the left, but I always start in the center for some apparent reason. I don't know, that's kind of always been my thing. And you want to, like, cut down carefully because you don't want to go too high on that bottom line. It start looking all retarded and dumb, you know. I want to kind of keep that area as natural as possible if you can help it. Even when you're lining up the top of the line, you kind of want to just fall on top and just briefly touch it. A light tap. In some cases, you can even slide down like you see me doing right now. Just slide it on. Don't cut too much off. You know. Briefly tap it, you know. You don't got to do too much digging. You got to just let the clippers do the work. Use the tip of those corners. Might have to go over it like a couple times, two or three times, you know. Just to make sure. Just to make sure you're getting every little hell. Do that triangle shape. Make sure you're getting it square at center and just lining up both sides evenly and equally. You know? Next, we're gonna dive right into the straight razor edge up. You wanna apply your little shave gel, whatever you use, around the perimeter of the hairline. You always keep the blade at a 30 degree angle, pull the skin. Tuck and pull. You want to tuck the skin with that thumb and pull with the hand you're holding the razor with. Technically, as a razor holder, but y'all know what I mean. You want to be real careful when you maneuver these blades. Remain 30 degrees when you're doing that razor. If you go any higher, you're not going to cut. If you go any lower, you'll cut too much. Then you'll have your client bleeding and stuff. So please make sure you pull that skin, you're tucking and you're pulling, maintaining that 30 degrees consistently throughout the whole haircut. And you can't forget the back of the beard. You want to use backhand. Reverse backhand at that. At least I use that. You can use any type of razor position you want. But same thing apply. Pull that skin back. Tuck and pull. Tuck and pull. It ain't no different. Tuck and pull. Last but not least, our almighty shaver. And basically with this shaver, you want to like use it in the areas that you balled out initially. All the shaver is basically doing it is getting it as close as it possibly can get. All right, y'all. That's what you have. Here you have it. Mid ball taper with a chin strap combination. Edgar haircut. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.